Barakati Yehawah, Barakati Yehawah Shai, all praises, enemy, and glory be unto Yehawah Bahasham, Yehawah Shai Bahasham Rekai Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and love, salutations and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. You are him that are has it in your lives to push his truth and to magnify and praise the true names of Yehawah and Yehawah Shai. Yehawah Shai is coming. And the kingdom of heaven is nigh at hand. And our message unto you, being Israelites, is to repent because great judgment is coming. Walk in the fear of Yahweh and in the faith of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, keeping this testimony of Yahweh Shai unto the end. And by it, you know, will you overcome this beast? Will you overcome the system that they're establishing, the MOTB system? And will you overcome the number of the beasts? All right, the image of the beast. All right, which the image of the beast all right, is speaking right now. Here it is. You have the Congress that creates laws. They pass it on to the Senate. You know, and the Senate enforce those laws. All right, they cause them, cause them to, you know, become become laws. All right, you got bills that become laws. All right. And this whole system is based off of ancient Rome. All right, here it is. Rome had a Senate. All right. This whole system is based off of ancient Rome. Now you have the, the mark, all right, which is the MOTB, the RFID chip and the brain implants. All right, this is what they're gearing towards. All right, right now you have a lot of people that have them. All right especially within countries like Sweden and all over the world. But the time is going to come where Esau through forming mischief by law, all right, or, or framing uh, uh, mischief to bring forth particular laws is going to make it to where it's mandatory that everyone in the world receive this. All right. And that hour in which that happened being the hour of temptation, and through keeping the testimony of Yahweh Shai, all right, keeping the word of Yahweh's patience, this is how you're going to overcome. You've seen the video in the beginning of this video, you know, with the paralyzed monkeys, you know, that were able to move their limbs again. All right, this is Esau's magic. All right, this is the, their sorcery, their witchcraft on the left hand side. All right, their particular technology and sciences and by these things, they're going to deceive people. Are right, you going to have people that are suffering paralysis that are going to receive this kind of form of technology? All right, accepting Esau Edom as their solder, <laughs> you know, just playing on a word. All right, the word solder means uh, deliverer, you know, in uh, ancient Greek. And you had individuals such as uh, Ptolemy Soter. All right, you had um, his his grandson, what was which was called you Ergenes, I believe that's how you pronounce it. But anyways, that means a uh, uh, a person that does good. So Esau is gonna make it seem as if he's your savior and deliverer. And he's doing good for you by way of introducing you to this form of technology. But really, it's for the enslavement of the people. Now it says arm and hand movement are restored in paralyzed monkeys by an external simulator that zaps spinal cords in a breakthrough that could help millions of people regain their mobility. All right. And people are going to flock to this particular technology because they will want to walk again. They'll want to use their arms again. They'll want to see again. And by Esau, given this form of technology, he's going to make it seem as if he's your Messiah. He's going to try to make it seem as if he's your savior and deliverer. But this is wicked in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Reading on, it says the animals were also fitted with brain implants that monitored voluntary movement. See, so enough said right there, you know, let's grab a few scriptures in which this whole ordeal reminds you of a movie 
And what movie might that be? The movie Upgrade, in which they use STEM research, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to put inside of a particular individual who suffered a spinal cord injury, but it wasn't a, a, a spinal cord injury that was self-inflicted, you know, or happened because of the accident. All right. They severed his spinal cord. And I believe they did the same things to these particular monkeys. All right. So just so that they can perform, you know, the science, you know, in, in uh, surgery on them to be able to, you know, connect a, a monitoring chip to something that's connected to the monkey's uh, spinal cord, you know, to control the movement of their arms. I believe that they did that purposely just so that they can test that technology. And this is the reason why the scriptures say that the earth is going to rejoice. That right? all of these animals that are subject to your tests, and then you go and try it on humans, which shows that you view humans and animals on the same level. Here it is. They'll try to give you something. They'll say, oh, well, this has been tested thousands of times on rats, which shows you that they view you on the same level as a rat. All right, the true healings and deliverance comes through Yahweh Shai. All right, that's how we're going to be saved and delivered as Israelites. And it's through the testimony of Yahweh Shai that we're going to overcome and get the victory. It's through Yahweh Shai that if we were dead, we would live again. The book of Revelation, the 12th chapter, in verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. And why? Because they have faith that through Yahweh Shai, they will live again. Another scripture. Let's see. Revelation 2 and 10 through 13. For if none of those things which thou shalt suffer, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right, you can't receive a crown if you're dead. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. Yeah, because Antipas was from Pergamos. Pergamos was a city that was known for its hospitals. It was known for its medicine. It was known for its medical care. And there they had temples that were dedicated unto Asclepius. Our Asclepian, the, the, the Greek god of, of uh, medicine. And that's the same uh, image that you see in all of the hospitals all over. Well, through their uh, particular system, all right, which is this, this system that was foresaid name, they're going to use, you know, this particular technology as a form of healing, as a form of a way to get beyond the limitations that have been caused. Through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a form of judgment upon people. There's a reason why people get injured and, and not be able to move their limbs. There's a reason why, you know, um, people become blind, you know, or were born blind. All of it is through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But Esau believes that he can go beyond Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Remember, this is the same individual who mentioned about. You know, uh, the, the Most High Heavenly Father only created organic matter, but he's going to go beyond the Most High and create inorganic matter. So when he introduces, you know, this technology, people are going to jump on it. Now, this is Revelation, the 13th chapter and reading verse 16 through 18. And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And what is the word there for mark? The word there is karagma which means a thing inserted. And why is it inserted? As a badge of servitude. You know, that's the reason why I mentioned, you know, in here concerning the word uh, uh, karagma. 
When you look up the word right hand, it says to receive or grant access to a visitor, not to refuse intercourse of friendship. So basically, you're entering into a compact or an agreement, you know, a friendship, but really it's not a friendship. It's about as friendly as a, as a master is to his slave. So you're accepting what Esau has to offer, all right, to be a part of his system. All right, you're, you're receiving him, but that which you're receiving is a lie. It doesn't matter where you receive it. You can receive it in your toenail, if that is, that's even possible. And you still received it. So it doesn't have to be the right hand. It doesn't have to just be the forehead. If you received it anywhere in your body, all right, you're accepting his alliance. All right, but really the alliance is a slave and a master alliance. Reading on, it says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Yeah, because you'll be able to buy and sell with it. Reading on, here is wisdom that him ha that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it, it is the for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6. Now, when you go into 603 score and 6, the word there is Kai Zai Stigma. And the Kai looks like an X because they're trying to X out Yahweh Remember, they're trying to push that they're your savior or that they're the savior of the people. All right. The, the Zai looks like a, a serpent coiling because they're going to do it through their system, you know, and the stigma, you know, when you go into the word stigma in which we're going to go as we normally do to the book of Galatians, the sixth chapter in the 17th verse. From henceforth, let no man trouble in me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Yahawashai, which he didn't physically bear in his body, the marks of Yahawashai. All right, but all of the things that he was going through to push the gospel and to spread the testimony, all right, was a witness all right, that he was a servant of Yahawashai. Now, Yahawashai had physical marks that were put inside of him from being nailed unto the cross. So the act of sticking someone with something, all right, is the act of a stigma. Now you had soldiers and servants in ancient time that would receive a brand upon them as a recognition that they were owned by someone. Now this is the word for stigma, which is the word for mark in Galatians 6 and 17, a mark pricked in or branded upon the body to ancient oriental usage. Slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their masters or commanders branded or pricked cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. And there were even some devotees who stamped themselves with this token uh, uh, in this way with the token of their gods. Stigma from primary stizo stick an example prick as a mark incise or punch for recognition of ownership see so although they're trying to push as if they're given this technology for salvation to deliver and save the people to help them out of their conditions really is to enslave them revelation 19 and 20 and the beast was taken with him a false prophet the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the motb which is the RFID chip or the brain implant and them that worship his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. So people are going to be deceived by this technology. They're going to be deceived by his, you know, uh, um, technological breakthroughs. The word there for deceive, which means to go astray, to lead astray, to lead aside from the right way. All right, the right way is to follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But Esau will even go as far as coercing you through making life difficult to the point where it seems as if the only way for you to escape the troubles that you're in is to accept his way. But really, the best way to escape is through believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The book of Revelation, the 12th chapter, in verse 10, I'm sorry, verse 11. 
And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and their love, not their lives unto death. So this is how we're going to overcome. Even when it seems as if there's no way, even when things get difficult, this is how we're going to overcome. So all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Shemiel Mashai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth and who rule well, peace and love, say taste and mercy. Be unto you hopefully like Akim that it has in your lives to push his truth. And to the rest of you believers, say Shalom and the Bible Bar, Kwambakiyam.